G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. I'm sitting in the casting room at the moment. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I've got a compressor on this side. Massive, huge compressor for Rumbe and our lasers on the other side of this wall. I can hear a lot of noise. I don't know about you guys. So I'm sitting in the casting room. Hopefully you've been seeing on Facebook that we've been promoting a little bit our Mirrors of Tulane range, our 28 millimeter fantasy figures that have been wonderfully sculpted by Anton de Croix from Flight Trap Factory. We've been working on this, you know, on and off for probably about a year and a half. I think we probably received our first sculpts from Anton, you know, maybe even two years ago. Um, I originally started Knights of Dice, as some of you may know, with this equipment behind me. I always wanted to produce my own range of miniatures. Um, you know, that works very well if you know how to sculpt and I don't know how to sculpt. I thought that I'd buy this equipment behind me and you know that would be my trigger for learning how to sculpt. Uh, now that never happened, I fooled around digitally. Um, I can sculpt digitally, digitally not a, a very well. I certainly need to practice more. And uh, consequently, this casting room and our molding room here has been relatively dormant for you know the whole five years of Knights of Dice. Um, now, Obviously I want to change that and you know the best way to change that is just to start getting things done. So I chatted with Anton, you know I've loved Anton's work for years and years and years. I love the ranges that he has at Flytrap Factory and you know his style and um, so you know we got chatting and you know an opportunity came up to, to work with him to get some miniatures made. So you know we did a few just to start with and then you know that turned into more ongoing work and then progressively over the period of about a year um, you know somehow we ended up with 69 figures. Um, before I realised, hang on, how am I going to get all these things made? Uh, I've got to get all the moulds made and, you know, I've, I've spent a huge amount of money getting all of these figures sculpted without ever thinking about, you know, the production side of what's required to actually stick some rubber into these moulds, into the spin caster behind me here. Um, and so, you know, the project then turned to, okay, well now we need to use Kickstarter to, you know, get the funds to, you know, buy all the rubber um, and all the metal that we need to cast up these 69 figures. Um, it's been a journey, it's been fun, uh, and finally the project is live on Kickstarter. I have no idea what's going to happen. I know there's massive amounts of competition out there. I really didn't want to use Kickstarter to do this. You know, I've funded Knights of Dice for five years myself. Um, you know, we bought incredibly expensive laser machines and, you know, we bought this warehouse that we're in and I've spent a ridiculous amount of money, you know, on this place. Um, and, you know, I know it's never going to make me rich nor am I going to make millions of dollars out of this business, but, you know, I do it because I love it. Um, but, you know, I can't eat love and I can't feed love to uh, my family. Um, so, in this instance now, I don't have the funds to, to, to put these figures into production. Um, so we've gone to Kickstarter, and that's you know that's where we are now. The project launched today on Kickstarter. We'll see what happens. You know, hopefully it does well. We've got stretch goals out to twenty four thousand, which you know, looking around at things that have happened on Kickstarter before, I don't think that's you know unachievable. I'm looking for an eight thousand dollar funding goal. Eight thousand dollars will get me all the rubber and silicon that I need to uh, to you know uh, uh, do do the whole range. Um, but you know we've we split it up into you know manageable chunks in case you know in case we don't get to those stretch goals then you know if I don't have to do that work then you know just so I can bank it for later. Um, but you know I wanted to put the camera on really quick and just film something down here in the casting room. Um, I did mention in the previous video that I put up about the uh, hobby benches in the main area. You know that's slowly moving along now. That big ten foot by six foot table. There goes that compressor again. It's gone, so hopefully I can start getting that up there and we can get this stuff happening more regularly. But at least for the next 28 days, until the end of October, you will be hearing from me regularly as we start to see the miniatures in more detail, more pictures, more scenic shots, more information. Please jump onto Kickstarter, back the project, even if it's just for the dollar, just to say thanks very much. At least that way we can engage in, in some uh, you know, correspondence, some communication. And you can let us know what we can do differently for next time. You know, there's already been a load of wonderful feedback before the Kickstarter campaign was even launched. Um, you know, I know there's gaps in the range. I know there's no females in the range. And, you know, there was going to be, but, you know, 
things just escalated out of control and before I knew what was going on a year and a half had passed and you know 70 odd figures had been done. Um, so I, I know there's things that we can do better uh, but you know unless you get involved in the campaign and tell me then you know I'm essentially flying solo. So there we go. Anyway, very quick update down here in the casting room. Um, I want to get this stuff fired up. Yeah, I unfortunately, or well, fortunately, it depends on which way you look at it, need your help to get it done. So I hope you join in on Kickstarter. Like I said, even if it's just for a dollar, or the five dollar pledge to get the exclusive Kickstarter, and that will be a proper exclusive miniature. It will never be available anywhere else. And you know that you know it's painstaking to say that, and so, you know, it's, it, she's a, she's a wonderful figure, the Void Witch. But um, you know. If it's an exclusive, it should be exclusive, right? You know, I'm not going to start selling it in two years' time. Anyway, there we go. My ramble is done. I could keep rambling forever. As you well know, thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you hopefully very soon. See ya.